Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're going to be talking about Fightcade in today's video. And uh, you can learn more about Fightcade over at their website, fightcade.com. Uh, but essentially, it is a platform that allows you to play all of your favorite retro games against or with people uh, anywhere in the world online. So just imagine like being able to team up with people in a game like uh, Turtles in Time on the SNES uh, or going head to head against someone in something like Street Fighter 2. Uh, today we're going to focus on getting this up and running on Botocera and it's actually pretty simple to do. Uh, thanks to the availability of a script that does all of the heavy lifting for us. It does all the work. It downloads the files. It puts them in the right places. Uh, there's not much for us to do. Um, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to test out, uh, I think, maybe a Dreamcast game and some SNES uh, games. Uh, just give give them a, a quick test uh, in running through Fightcade. Uh, but first, let's go through the installation. It's it's very simple. Uh, let's get to that right now. So I'm going to switch over to uh, the command line where I have an SSH session to my Battlesera machine. And I'm going to run curl-capital-L fightcade.batocera.pro. And I'm going to pipe that, the pipe character, to bash. So this is going to, uh, basically there's a bash script at that address, and we're going to tell curl to download it, and we're going to pass that to bash so it gets automatically executed. So once you have that typed in, go ahead and just hit enter. And it's the Botocera Fightcade installer. Uh, it tells us this will install Botocera Fightcade with all dependencies. This is for Botocera versions 36, 37, and 38. Uh, Fightcade will be available in ports and F1 applications. And it'll be installed to user data slash system slash pro slash Fightcade. Uh, it's going to go through nine download steps here. Uh, what you want is all of these to get to 100% and not show any errors. If you get errors, wait till it finishes and dumps you back to the prompt and just run that curl command again. Uh, until you keep doing it until you don't get any download errors. Keep in mind that this does require an x86-64 CPU architecture. So this is going to work on Intel systems, AMD systems. Uh, however, this is not going to run on things like uh, your Raspberry Pis. You're also, I think it downloads about 800 megabytes here and then extracts it. Uh, the script itself that we're running does recommend you have at least four gigabytes free on your user data partition in Batacera. Uh But here we are already to step nine of nine. Uh, once this one completes, it's going to start extracting those files, which may take a minute or two, and then it's going to install it, and it's going to tell you when it's done. So we're just going to wait here and let it do its thing. Uh, but if your output looks like this, then so far, so good. And we've already reached the installing phase. This shouldn't take very long. And it Fightcade installed. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do here is get ready to switch over to the Botocera system. And you're going to want to hit start on your controller. Uh, go into the menu here, game settings, update game lists. And so now when you go to ports, you'll see there's a Fightcade 2 entry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select that. Uh, normally what would happen here, um, I had actually set this up previously. So... 
you would get a screen prompting you for your login credentials. Uh, you will need to have a, you'll want a keyboard and mouse attached for that portion. There's also a button that will come up on first launch uh, beneath that that says create an account. So if you don't already have an account, click that button. Uh, it'll ask you for a username, an email address, and a password. And that will allow you to create your account and log into Fightgate. I find a keyboard and mouse works best. Uh, I'm using an 8-bit dough. Uh, Ultimate C controller right now, and the right analog stick does seem to control the mouse, and clicking it in does count as a click. Uh, however, uh, I still re would recommend a, uh, a keyboard and mouse for navigating through here. It's just a little bit more precise. Uh, but anyway, I'm actually going to switch away from the Battlestar system for a moment. And let's go back and take a look at the command line again. Because I do just want to point out that... <coughs> Fightgate is installed here. There's that uh, Fightgate2.sh. I think that's the, uh, the script that... We ran to download everything. Yeah. Uh, go into Fightcade. So you can see we're in the user data system pro Fightcade, Fightcade directory. And there's a ROMs folder. <coughs> so that script does something really amazing for us. And that's that it automatically creates sim links from this ROM folder. Uh, it expects your fight key games to be in this ROMs folder, but the script made sim, sim links to our normal Botticera ROMs folders for FB Neo, FC1, Dreamcast, SNES. Uh, it did that automatically, so we don't have to do anything special to put our ROMs in a special location. It, it just, if, as long as your ROMs are where you would normally have them for Botticera, they will, uh, they'll just work with Fightgate. And I just kind of wanted to point that out real quick. Uh, so now we can go back. I'm going to switch, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to switch back over to the Botticera system where we have Fightgate running. So we're going to click here. Now I have found that Sometimes when starting a game for the first time, uh, the screen might do a bunch of like flat, like white flashes. So be warned about that. Uh, there's been a couple of times where uh, it'll it'll pop up like an error if it if it says like can't find something or whatever. Hit exit, and as long as you know you have the ROM there, try to run it again. Because uh, usually on the second time, if it gave you like a flashing screen the first time and an error you won't get it the second time. So if you if you get an error, uh, just click off of it and, and try to start the game again and see what happens. <coughs> I'm going to go to Super Nintendo games here. And I just want to test it out. I don't actually want to get into a room that has anybody in it. So let's say Alien vs. Predator. Uh, you just hover over the game and you'll get a join button. And that will put you into a room like this. I'm going to click over on the room. Here you would see, this is just me, uh, but if other people joined, they would show up here in the looking to play section. Uh, there's a test game button up here. So we're going to make sure this works. I'm going to, I'm going to hit on test game. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and hit start on my controller. And as you can see, the game is starting up just fine. Uh, 
Uh, this game is probably a bad example. But as you can see, it is working just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. Uh, so back into it, we have this room. Uh, you've got a couple of little icons. Uh, there's mute channel at the bottom here, and up here at the right is a little icon to leave the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do... I have one Dreamcast game that I put on here. Uh, it's Border Down. We'll do a test game. Uh, sometimes you may get a menu like this. Uh, I'm just going to choose Start Game. <coughs> And I'm going to move the mouse pointer out of the way. So this is the Dreamcast version of Border Down. I'm not going to play for long here. I just want to show that it is running, and it is running through Fightcade. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out of it now. Uh, but yeah, that is basically how to, the simplest way that I know of to get Fightcade installed and working on Botocera. If you do try to get it up and running and have any issues, uh, please post your problem in the comment section down below. I will do my best to keep an eye on those and reply uh, as quickly as I can. Now, sometimes your problem may be something I haven't encountered, so I'll need a little time to try to recreate it and be able to solve it. Uh, but I will do my best to, as quickly as I can, get back to you and let you know uh, if I'm able to come up with a solution for you. Uh, but for the most part, uh, this should work just fine on a, on a clean Botocera install. So... Uh, you know, if you're interested in using Fightcade, go ahead and give this a try, and hopefully uh, it'll work for you. And, you know, let me know what you think.